Alrighty guys, so that was, you know, an object that I kind of had pre-staged, right? You know, the focus was already set and stuff. So let's assume that, you know, we're going to go to a new object. And I'm not sure if this is going to be, you know, like in the field of view. So I just want to show you guys, you know, my normal routine for how I do this, right? With, you know, just basically like, you know, from putting the camera in. In fact, I'll actually mess up the focus on the camera a little bit, right? Um, and then actually... Probably shut down sharp cap too, and I'll start it all over for you guys just so you kind of see how this is supposed to work. Alright, so we are going to do a nearby object. Uh, we'll do the Dumbbell Nebula, which is on 27. That's a larger object, so that we. Oops, not Cadwell. Okay, so back uh, we'll do. So M27. Enter. Oh. Enter. Alright. And this scope has the audio stir, so we'll kind of get out of that. Okay, so now, now obviously, you know, while this is slowing, you do have to do the go to alignment, uh, you know, prior to doing this. So, this is already done with the scope. In fact, this one is automatically, but you do that however you normally do that. Or if you're doing, again, if you're using the mount does not have go to, you just, you know, manually point it with an eyepiece and then you switch to the camera. So, the focus should be messed up, you know, now. And I don't know if the object's in the field of view. It can be, it cannot be. So, what we're doing now is starting sharp cap. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to camera. So this is like, you know, if let's say you just download the program, right? You know, you, you need the drivers for your camera. As long as they're loaded, the camera will be right in here. So you'll select your camera. So this is, you know, basically, this normally won't pop up. This is for one of my other setups. Okay, so here's the same black box. Uh, you know, like whatever settings you used last time is usually what will be in here. Uh, so those are in there. Nothing again is on the screen here, uh, so we will do basically just a really quick. Um, so effects usually again I do damage boost more immediately. Uh, still nothing on the screen, so what we'll do now is oh in LX mode you usually do want to have to check that will let you do longer exposures. So again about 1.5 seconds, the gain will just totally blow up there. All right, guys, so check this out nothing is on the screen still so not a good sign right so this is uh where you, you know you'd want to focus and again if, if at all possible set the focus during the day or figure out about where it is which direction to go from your okay guys so check this out all right so what i'm you know I'm, I'm just turning just to focus i don't have any kind of electrical focus or anything and as you can see so those are stars for sure right okay so I passed focus, I'm kind of backing up on the focus, and again, I'm just turning the knob, you know, as, as we're kind of looking at this life. So, still out of focus. And as you can see, from me touching the camera, you know, like, or the telescope, not the camera, you can see it vibrating. Um, and then, so, okay, so the focus is getting pretty good. Um, there is, by the way, there is like tools in here that will help you do that. You know, again, I'm, I'm just trying to keep this basic and quite frankly, a lot of times this is actually exactly what I do is I just kind of do it by eye. Depending on, you know, how good I want to focus it. Okay, so as you can see, the stars are pretty darn round right now. I'm sure if I ran the tool, I could probably zero it in a little bit more, especially if I did have an electric focuser or like, you know, some kind of micro focuser with these stock SCT focusers, guys. This is about what you're gonna, you know, do. And I can already immediately see that this is the dumbbell nebula right here, actually. So it's not quite in the center of the field of view. Um, sometimes if you want, if you want to kind of, you know, really center stuff, you could do a cross here on there. You know what I'm doing now is I'm just grabbing the hand controller You'll want to make sure that this is set to a slow speed, and I'm going to center this up a little more. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with that, guys. Um, that should be swimming pretty well. So let's get rid of these crosshairs. This is an error that's just for one of the crosshairs in this version of the software. Usually you won't have them. Okay, so yeah, focus still looks pretty good. So at this point, guys, again, um, you know, let's go to our base, base point, which I'd recommend starting with this five seconds gain you know and play around with these settings this isn't like some you know kind of magic setting this is just you know what works for like if you have an sc2 it should work pretty well for refractors and might not all right so now uh we have uh that we will do live stacking all right let's see oh guys check that out so first explosion exposures and now I can already made it immediately tell that the first exposure didn't have very round stars. Again, guys, this is a simple, you know, basic setup. I mean, guys, check this out. Tell me that is not cool. An amazing amount of detail in the first 20 seconds. We're not even to 30 seconds. So 25 seconds, I'll let you guys see. Like, it's just turn it, I guess, so 30 seconds of exposure. I mean, guys, tell me that is not cool. I think it's amazing. All right, so the other thing that I didn't cover, um, that's uh, the, the other thing that you do want to play around is the histogram down here. So you can, uh, like if the image is, you know, like if the colors look really off to you, there's a couple of things that you can click here to kind of, you know, adjust the colors, right? Automatically, the software adjusts it for you. Or you could adjust them manually. So like right now, it looks like there's a little too much blue for me. So kind of, you know, I'll kind of, Punch that down, maybe punch down the green a little bit. Um, so anyway, you know, play around with this. Yeah, so that looks a little bit better. Actually, I got it back to pretty much what it was before because I think I had it set pretty well. Um, so the other functions in the histogram here is basically uh, the mid uh, tones here. This kind of usually blows up the image, makes it brighter right and then this one you kind of used to usually kind of dim down the big background basically all right so i think that's pretty cool okay guys and as you can see uh m27 is also not a very big object this is where the limits of the you're kind of starting to run into the limits of this particular setup right while we are getting an amazing image i think um as you can see it's hardly basically not fitting in the field of view okay so this is where, you know, like anything larger than this, you, or if your go-to, like this go-to that I you know I just did, it was incredibly accurate. Uh, so if your mount isn't that great of go-to accuracy, um, or you want to do larger objects, that's where you'd want to do a focal reducer or a camera with the larger sensor size.